Welcome to Oak Key West. Yay! I'm going to eat breakfast at Olivia's. Then I'm going to take you all around the resort. It's going to be great. So come on. All right, this is the main walkway when you come in to go to Olivia's. It's on the left and the store, and then you check in on the right. And it's, let's see how crowded it is in there. Pretty crowded, but lovely. So this is what the registration desk area looks like. Oh, here's something that's coming up on Saturday, September 28th from 6 to 10. They're having a hang 10 on the turtle crawl. And they're going to have a DJ and everything. So that's something fun. This is the outside of Olivia's. This is some outside seating at Olivia's. And we've sit out here before. It's so cute. They get the lighthouse over there. Okay, here's Olivia's brunch menu. And they have brunch from 7.30 a.m. to 2 o'clock. And it's only on the weekends, I believe. Oh, that sombrero beach omelet looks delicious. Yeah. Okay, I just checked in for the brunch, my reservation at Olivia's, and it is so crowded. I think everyone's checking in. So let's go into the gift shop called Cargo and Provisions. It's the Conch Flats store. So let's go look at it. Here's this mailbox that I would keep seeing people talk about. You can actually put mail in it. Halloween. I think they're gonna have a lot of Disney Vacation Club stuff in here. This is so cute. Very pretty. T-shirt. <laughs> oh, that's a great trick-or-treat shirt for littles. <laughs> and I, oh, I've been loving this T-shirt. Beach wear. It's a lovely robe. This robe is $99. Here's a Disney Vacation Club member lounge fly. It's nice. And a shirt. It's got all the Disney Vacation Club places on it. That's pretty. As is this. Disney Vacation Club member. I love it. Oh, Key West. This is probably my favorite. Okay, that's a gurgling suitcase t-shirt. And that's the little bar outside. We'll go take a look in there later. Okay, and here's just a little area. I was looking for these games the other night. I ended up getting the life game for the hurricane. And little grocery items you can pick up and take to your villa. Okay, here we are outside Olivia's waiting on our table. Okay, while we're waiting on our table, let's go in and look at this place. I love the pictures. These are called the family album. So this resort is the very first <laughs> DVC resort. And so the original members of the DVC Vacation Club have their pictures on this wall. I love it. But this is a great memory for these people. I love it. Here's some more of them on this side. So nice. I have a whole pot of coffee here to myself. And cream. Yum. Okay, I got my crab cakes. Yum. 
These look really good. Yeah, and that crab cakes look good. And biscuits. I got the potatoes. And the, the potatoes are really good. They've got cheese on them. Okay, so my brunch was so good that Eggs Benedict with the crab cakes was delicious, but the potatoes I think was the best. The potatoes stole the show. Okay, so let's take a look at this beautiful resort. That's the area there where, where you check in, so you can walk out there and have a seat. It's outside of Olivia's. Here's the boat dock. The boat is taking you to Disney Springs. Disney Springs, Port Orleans Riverside, Port Orleans French Quarter. This is the Saskagoola. Let's go take a look at the pool and the bar, the gurgling suitcase. Okay, there's the gurgling suitcase. It's just a bar with a few, just a few seats. This is a cute little area outside the gurgling suitcase. They've got a TV and stuff out here and the pool's over here. You can bring your food over. And this is where you can get food to go. QS Cuban sandwich. Mickey waffles. Yeah. Look at that little. I love the pool activities. Mickey tie dye, two thirty. There's that where you can rent Surrey bikes. That's kind of like at Port Orleans Riverside. There's another little activity area thing about yoga, pickleball clinic, exercise room. Okay, here's the pool area. Here's the kitty pool area. That's so cute. They have volleyball court out here, like beach volleyball and hammocks you can lay on. And here's a tennis court. This is like really a nice resort. Okay, and this is the old family tree. And I think this is just a tree that was brought here and they're calling it the old family tree because it's the Disney Vacation Club. The first Disney Vacation Club. Shovel ball court. This looks like a little amphitheater area. They probably have like presentations here maybe. Okay, this resort seems a little different because it doesn't have a one particular walkway that goes all the way through the whole resort. But there is a running path, and so I think we're going to take the running path and go through and see as many of the buildings as we can. The one across the street is the Miller's Road building, and it looks like they're doing some refurbishment on it. I don't know. Let's go look at the pool. Okay, here's the pool, the main pool. It's got a lighthouse and that slide there. Nice. More of the pool. There's the slide. Okay, let's head to the running trail. See if we can get around and look at some buildings. It's starting to rain. <laughs> I found a seat underneath the umbrella by the pool. So don't rain on my resort tour, y'all. I don't think it's rain rain, it's just sprinkling. Well, that came up really quick. To be in Florida. All right, that was just a little rain. It's curse. All right, here's the running trail. This is what we're doing. Here's where you check in, right here. This is the running trail. Right across there are the North Cove Road buildings. And then this is Peninsula Road area that we're going to. We're gonna go see where this path takes us. This is the Miller's Road area. Building 62, Miller's Road area is right across from the, the main building. 
Look at these buildings. They're so pastel -y. So that's building 62. Very convenient. Now I'm making my way to this running trail and I'm going towards those some more buildings. Let's see what we see. I'm going to the Peninsular area. Peninsular Road area. I'm going to show you the golf course. There's golfers out there. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a rainy day, but we're pushing through. Okay, we are going to buildings 23 through 56 that way. Here's another view of the golf course. This pretty lake with the fountain. That's a three-story building right there. Most of them are only two, I think. And I don't think a lot of them have elevators. So you want to check for that. So Old Key West is a vacation club resort. But you can stay here and just rent a room just like a normal any other resort or if you're in the Disney Vacation Club you can use your points to rent this but look outside the they're like little houses they're like apartments kind of that's lovely okay that's building 23 buildings 24 25 and 26 and over here is a bus stop Okay, here's the really the first bus stop bus stop I see. I saw people being picked up at the front of the resort to go to parks. So this tells me what time the buses are coming. For like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios. If you're going to Disney Springs, you need to take the boat. Nice. There's talking about their old Key West Fest again. Okay, the buses traveling to and from all Disney theme parks will pick up and drop off in the following order. Peninsula Road, South Point, Old Turtle Pond, Miller's Road, and then the Hospitality House. So if you are staying right here and you want to get on a bus, Then you have to go to all those areas and then to the parks. Okay, it looks like building 27 is having construction. That's the building that we saw from the pool over there. Okay, we're heading on down towards building 28. Actually, I, they're called vacation homes. So we're heading to vacation home number 28. That's what they were called at this resort. And, okay, building 28. So glad it stopped raining. Building 29, and these look just massive. I think that these rooms are more along the same lines as the Vero Beach Resort. We need to come and stay here just so I can do the room tour because it looks so nice. Look at the little Mickey things on the golf course there. And we made it to Turtle Pond Road. Let's go check it out. Okay, there's Building 30. It's pretty out here. Building 30 is on the way to the Turtle Shack. Turtle Shack Poolside Snacks. Let's go look at it. Okay, that's Building 32. Across the street is 34. And there's another bus stop. Okay, here's building 44, and this is a good spot because the Turtle Bay Village Pool is just right across the street. Building 41, and that's right across from the pool. The little Turtle Bay Pool area. Here's the Turtle Bay Pool, and they're playing music and everything. They've got a, sn a sh snack shack. I really like this over here. This might be the best pool. This is kind of giving me a Castaway Key vibe. 
Okay, not only do you have a snack bar, but you also have grills out here that you could cook. So pretty, these buildings, these vacation homes. This is very shady and lovely. The only thing is about this resort, I think it's lovely and they have such nice rooms, I'm sure. They're like these vacation villas. The, there's a lot of streets. It's like roads. So it's not like you are just inside a resort with just walkways. It's streets. So, but other than that, it's super nice and very, very large. Building 49. And this should be building 50. Yep, building 50. Building 51. Golf course. Oh, it's really nice out here. Okay, this is another bus stop. This would be the South Point Road bus stop. So if you want to get to the front of the resort, you could hop on a bus here. And also to a park. South Point bus stop. Okay, we're just outside the South Point bus stop in building 53. And there's a pool over here. And there's building 56. 56. Building 53. There's a quiet pool over here. Let's go take a look. Building 56. Okay, there's a quiet pool. There's people in there, so I'm not going to film it. And there's a kitty playground area right next to it. Alright, making my way back to the main area. Where would I stay in this resort? I would probably try to stay in the Miller Road area. That very first section that we went to. Or if I wanted to be super, super quiet, I would come back here and stay by the Turtle Bay pool. And they have their own snack bar. But I like to be next to the main area, everything. So the Miller's Road area would be great. And I bet that's probably preferred. But it's all lovely. Okay, I'm almost to the main building. And let me show you. There's Olivia's and the boat dock to Disney Springs. A lot of golf carts going by out here. And buses, y'all. Buses. That was so much fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little resort tour. This this resort is kind of difficult to tour because there's no sidewalks. And you don't want to get ran over. The best part about this day was the brunch at Olivia's. I highly recommend eating there. I want to come back here and come to dinner. And the gurgling suitcase looks fun. Thanks so much for watching. Next week I'm going to Saratoga Springs. I'm staying on the Saskagula. And it's a little easier to tour because it has a walkway. So be sure and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching. And remember, you are the magic. Bye.